Hi guys, it's me Yobi Programmer and today I'm gonna show you how you can run a Flask or Django project in Python in your local system, right? So here I am browsing some projects uh, for the Flask and Django. If I go to this directory in the projects, I am getting all of these projects and you can get all the source code from the description or just uh, text me or mail me uh, about any of these projects right uh, let's uh, try out a project which one we can try let me see yeah medical insurance so this project i have implemented uh, for both django and flask uh, right so if i just okay uh, try out this flask one first so in every flask project you will get a file called uh, app.py uh, or like main.py where you have the uh, the code for the uh, if i can show you for the flask module of python basically flask and django are both used for the web development in the python and you can see here I am importing the flask and this is obviously all the uh, uh, code for the back end of the project right and the front end is stored in this template folder which is index.html or any html files now how I can execute uh, this project that's the main uh, thing right uh, so in the windows or uh, like uh, in any operating system what you have to do is access this app.py so open the uh, the terminal in this directory where you have all these files make sure these templates static and app are in the same uh, you can say level right uh, in the directory level and if I just uh, in the windows it's really easy to uh, open the CMD here I will just uh, just follow my cursor and uh, see where I am uh, clicking it so here uh, it is giving me path if I just uh, click here and then write CMD and hit OK uh, enter key I will open the CMD in this very directory you can see the path it's really same right in the flask now I have uh, all the uh, files I can access all the files right uh, so if I just now give the command so what I have to do is just run the app.py so I will just uh, write the command as python app.py you can see the command right and uh, I will see if I can just okay python app.py and hit enter and it's gonna give me a server where i can just uh, like visit uh, that link and i will get my website live okay so here i am getting the server and these warnings are uh, just due to this uh, very project because i'm obviously like using a different version uh, from my main uh, terminal otherwise i'll be using uh, anaconda version but that's not like uh, any of the thing with the running of the project all you have to do uh, like uh, if you uh, want to verify your app is running or not just this line running on this uh, uh, link right so if I just copy this link and then open the browser and if I just okay yeah so here it is the project I'm not gonna like talk about the project itself but uh, you can see uh, it is uh, predicting how much money uh, will be spent on a uh, person or a patient medical insurance course prediction app so now this very same thing uh, is uh, implemented in the django also so uh, we have like uh, seen how we can run a flask project but let's see how we can run a django project now okay so i'm gonna close this up and 
now I will go to this Django uh, directory in every Django project you will get a file called manage.py and this name will be same uh, in, in like every case uh, so what you have to do is do the same thing open CMD or open uh, terminal command prompt whatever you're gonna call it in this directory then you have to go to cmd and a command which will run this uh, django project is python manage dot py run server uh, let me see if i can just show you in one line okay so this is the command python manage.py uh, run server so obviously it's gonna give me a server just like uh, flask gave me a server so it's performing some system checks and these uh, warnings are just for my project it's not gonna uh, come in your uh, project uh, and this is the main thing I am getting my server live okay I can visit this link and I will get my website live or my project live whatever you want to call it okay so medical insurance cost prediction app obviously UI is uh, changed because we have changed front end uh, in the Django we can implement a lot of things like login sign up uh, in the very easy way so if I can show you the same app you visited in the flask this was the app uh, but here we have some more options uh, so that's the technicalities of uh, project wise right every project has different functions okay so logout is there and all so you can see here uh, we are getting link for the Django right so this is how you can uh, do uh, uh, like run the project and one more thing uh, if I can just show you now pip uninstall Django okay I'm uh, going to uninstall my Django uh, because I want to show you one thing that if Django or Flask or any other module is uh, not installed in your uh, system then what to do right so if I just now I'm um, pressing up key so uh, to access the previous command if I just now run this server it will say it isn't uh, able to uh, import the Django couldn't import Django or uh, it will say uh, like any other uh, package or module if uh, you have used it in the project or you have downloaded some project from the github and uh, your system have uh, not installed that uh, module then it's gonna like say something like that couldn't import Django or couldn't find Django or something like that now what I have to do I have to just pip install that package in my case is Django so I will just say it's like that and it's same for the flask it's same for the numpy it's same for the pandas and many other package uh, it is going to install and then I can uh, again run the uh, server and it's gonna give me that uh, let's uh, wait for a bit to get it installed and by the way if I just show you my projects and this also so I do uh, like uh, explainer sessions for the project or like your custom project these are all the details uh, you can fill out this form and you will be contacted within 24 hours or if you uh, in a hurry just text me on the whatsapp or mail right and in the channel you can visit all of these uh, projects demos in this playlist uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, projects and there are many more projects coming okay so it is installing the uh, packages 
which is only Django for now. Okay, so it has uh, successfully installed Django. Now let's see if we can again get the server running for our Django app. And you can see now it is not saying like I couldn't import Django or something like that. It is giving me the server. That's uh, like a proof uh, for we have successfully installed a module and uh, it is uh, giving me no errors. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope uh, you learned something from it. And if you do, you can subscribe to my channel. And I will meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching.